Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and although this YouTube channel is all about the concepts of electronics, electrical engineering and computer science engineering, but this video is quite interesting because in this video we are going to cherish uh, some childhood memories uh, in the form of this fountain pen. So in this video we are going to learn uh, the proper technique of how to fill an uh, ink in a fountain pen rather than ink pen. So right in front of me, I have the Jinhao uh, fountain pen. It's a beautiful pen and uh, with a very good handwriting. So let me open this. Okay, so this is the first part of the pen. As you can see, it has a bright golden nib and is really handy when it comes to writing fast. So let's keep this aside and let's open this. So as soon as I open this, so the very first thing that you will see is the cartridge right here. So this is a cartridge that uh, basically holds the ink for you whenever you're writing through a fountain pen. Now in modern day fountain pens, this modern system has kind of come where they provide this kind of a lever at the end. So let me just quickly show you. So what you do is you just kind of rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise and then this kind of fills in the required amount of ink. But it's uh, the good part is that this is this part here is detachable. So let's detach this part right here. So like this. Let's keep this aside and keep all the necessary parts a little far. Okay, so this is the cartridge which will hold your ink uh, and kind of provide you the ink that you need to write uh, quite steadily. So the problem is that if you directly dip this cartridge onto the ink in the ink bottle right here, if this ink bottle is full enough, is filled enough, so then there won't be any problem. But the problem is once it gets quite uh, quite used up and let's say it's filled till half, then it is really difficult to kind of directly pour, put this inside the bottle and uh, squeeze the ink up. So for that purpose, we are going to use this small injection uh, to fill up this ink. So let me quickly open the bottle right here. So as you can see, it is a Parker ink, quite beautiful. So let me first unwind this. Okay, so as you can see that as it moves forward, it has kind of created an empty space uh, for the ink to be filled in. Now let me open my injection right here and put this inside the bottle. And let's squeeze this, squeeze a little amount of ink first. Okay. So as you can see where we have kind of filled this uh, with the required amount of ink, the proper procedure or the technique to hold it is through your fist, right? So let's squeeze some ink out. Now place this kind of this uh, cartridge and this needle in this posture with an approximately 45 degree kind of an angle and very slowly squeeze in the ink. Remember that you'll have to leave some space in between them in these, uh, otherwise the bubbles would start coming up. So as you can see, the ink has already started pouring in. Uh, let me quickly fill this in. Okay, so I've already filled up the necessary part of the ink. So that means this cartridge is full. So let me quickly close all the remaining things. So let's first close our injection like this and let's keep it aside uh, let's close the bottle first so that we don't have any spilled ink to okay then we will take our pen right here the front part the nib part here and place it like this so now our pen is quite ready with the full ink cartridge and then we will close this part right here so let us see how does this uh, pen write after filling the ink. So for that, I will be taking some papers right down here and let's quickly write something down. Let me close this up. Okay. So what should I write? Okay. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. So the fun part is that this fountain pen is quite as handy as a ball pen or a gel pen and as you can see I can even draw some random lines very effortlessly. So I hope that this video was interesting enough and for more such videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.